Welcome back to D20 Tactics. On this channel, I play Dungeons and Dragons with my friends, and we explore combat scenarios and play out the tactics used to defeat monsters quickly and safely, giving you more time to get back to roleplaying. I'm your host and Dungeon Master, Stars and Zero, and today I'm joined by Blind Oracle, Kron, Azure Wolf, and Fear No Equal. Together, we'll run through typical battles that adventurers might see playing Dungeons and Dragons. This is the fifth encounter in a Vampire Count's Castle, so if you missed the start, you can find a link to it in the description below. Grab your dice, draw your sword, and let's jump into combat. Hit points, abilities, spells, items in hand. The cleric has 155 out of 155 hit points. I have a Warhammer and a plus two shield in hand. I have both of my channel divinities, two out of the three slots on my tan bag of tricks, three first, three second, three third, one fourth, one fifth, one seventh, and one eighth. 118 out of 118 hit points remaining. Four slots on Wand of Lightning Bolt. Four. First level. Second level, I have three. Third level, I have three. Fourth level, I have three. Fifth level, I have two. And one eighth level spell, Arcane Recovery, has been used up. Holding plus two short bow, using plus one arrows. Instrument of the Bard slung across my back. 150 out of 150 hit points. 206 out of 206 hit points with a Great Axe plus 2 in hand. I have Second Wind still available, Action Surge available, and two Indomitables still available. And my Wing and Boots. Monsters, abilities, items, and numbers. This encounter is pretty straightforward. There are seven vampire spawn. You've made your way up to the upper levels of the castle. The decadent and aristocratic vampires lounge about here. They look at you hungrily as soon as you show up, and they're gonna try to eat as many of you as possible. Vampire spawn have multi-attack. They can attack with a bite or a claw. Also have the ability to regenerate. They resist necrotic and non-magical weapon attacks. They can climb up the walls, including upside down and on ceilings. Passive perception is 13, no problem for the road. Terrain and effects. Terrain's fairly straightforward, as most terrain in a humanoid structure is. A couple of pieces of impassable terrain, a couple of pillars, can't move diagonally through the pillars. So that's what the terrain looks like. So what do you guys think for tactics in this fight? We were talking about spending our 8th level spells. Do we want to spend mine? or the wizard's other 8th level spell at this encounter, because mine is Holy Aura. Or I could just upcast Spirit Guardians at level 8. <laughs> that would be gross. Holy Aura is probably at its best here, because there's so many enemies. Yeah, and they're spread out too. You could still hit them all with Sunburst. Nothing's more than 120 feet apart. Holy Aura is probably at its best here, so... Just for the record, the Spirit Guardians thing would be 8d8 radiant damage. And it would carry you through the next fight, right? Yeah, it would. As long as you can maintain <laughs> concentration, yes. Do it. Yeah, probably <laughs> worth it. We have taken less damage in this dungeon than probably any dungeon at this point ever, and we haven't yet used Spirit Guardians. Maybe Spirit Guardians is hurting us more than it helps us. Hang on, hang on. Correlation is <laughs> not causation. Does not compute. All right, any other thoughts about tactics? Fighter, you want haste? I would love it. I think this is one where I haste you and just let you go. Let's go ahead and roll some initiative. Anybody have higher than a 20? Anyone have between a 20 and a 15? Rogue is a 19. I have a 17. You've been rocking the initiative. Anyone have between a 15 and a 10? 13 for the wizard. I have a 12 on the vampires. Alistair Crowley's got a 11. What do you got for me, fighter? Nine. Blind Oracle, you're up first. I know we said the wizard was going to haste the fighter, but I'm not doing anything with these scrolls, and my concentration's less valuable than yours. So, bam! Scroll of haste on the fighter. Fighter drops into a sprinting start. Anything else? Bonus action hype. You will not be hidden from the cleric, which I think is the thing you want to not be doing. That is correct. After that, we go to the Kron. Spirit Guardians, 8th level. Cool, tell me about it. Any creature that enters the area for the first time or starts its turn there must make a wisdom saving throw. On a fail save, the creature takes 8d8 radiant damage. On a successful save, the creature takes half as much damage. Because you have your eyes closed, all of them are... I'm just kidding. You got anything else? Uh, since the fighter dropped into a sprinting start, I'm going to leapfrog over him and then go around the corner to the nearest vampire. After the Kron, we're going to go to the Age Wolf. I will move up, get to where I can shoot him with a magic missile. Level 5. 4 on the die. 4 on the die plus 1 is 5. Plus 5 is 10. What's the level? 5th. So 7. You're going to do 70 points of damage to this mook. Pretty much. I want to get rid of him. Cleric. I'm going to go hit this guy with Spirit Guardians. Wizard. No, you're not. Not if I get there first. I have decided no. For the simulacrum, cannot get up there, so let's move him behind the fighter and dodge. After the Azure Wolf, we go to the vampires. Homeboy starts to turn off in the zone. Tell me about it. DC 18. Thank you. He's going to fail with an 8. So 48. God, that's a lot of damage. He's going to take 48 points of damage and drop. Wow. This one's going to start to turn off in the zone. Give me some damage. 28. She's going to fail with a 7. Then she's going to move to there, kick over the chair, stand on top of it, and bash you with a cup. That's exciting. Or try to. It's very exciting. The most animated vampire enemy we've had in a while, right? 22 to hit you. That misses. 
yeah, somehow that misses. Cool, so she's gonna do it again. 23 to hit you. That misses. I don't see any other way out of this, so the only way out is through. I am a tanky half point. <laughs> this one's gonna dash into the zone. Give me some damage. 39. She fails with a 5 and takes all of it. She's gonna dash to there and give me some damage. 43. She's gonna fail with a 13. This one's gonna go... She's gonna dash to there. Give me some damage. 36. She's gonna fail with a 2. If you can't dash in there, then there's no point in moving, so... He's going to dash to there. He's going to dash to there. That's all my guys. After the vampires, we're going to go to the owl. So that one just east of me, please get advantage for the rope. After the owl is the fear. I want to go east of the southeast vampire spawn. I am going to provoke... She'll take it. 10 to hit you. AC is 20. First, I'm going to use my haste attack on this guy. That's a crit. I mean, I gave you the character. I can't complain. 18 damage. That did not kill it, so I'm not going to be able to move into its spot. That's fine. First regular attack, same guy. 17 to hit. 17 hits. For 11 damage. Second attack. Ooh, that's one. Trying third attack. Oh, and that's another 17 to hit. 17 hits. 12 damage. 12 is lethal. You have movement left. Do you want to move into a spawn? I do, and I'm going to move in. You know what? We're going to do the thing. Action surge. Green guy to the west of me. Oh, uh, that's a two to hit. Miss. That's a 23 to hit. 23 hits. 15 damage. And that's a 17 to hit for 16 damage. That's it for me. After the fear, we're going to go to the blind oracle. So we're going to move... You have advantage to hit this one. Can I see that one from there? I don't think so. It would have three quarters cover. I'll take that shot. Okay, plus five AC. Yeah, I'll take that. 23 to hit. Hits. That's what we like to call big damage. 46 points of damage. 46 is lethal. You got a bonus action? I do. Let's go ahead and leapfrog over the simulacrum and then take bonus action hide. After the blind oracle is the cron. I'm going to go ahead and swing at the green one right below me. Total of 19 to hit. 19 will hit. Total of 23 damage. How much damage did you do with the Warhammer? 4 plus 2, I think. It's going to take all 17 of the Radiant. It's going to resist the mundane Warhammer damage. Only take 3 of that. It'll take 20 points of damage. I'm just going to hold my position and end my turn there. After that, we're going to go to the Age Wolf. We're going to 4th level Magic Missile, but I'm going to split the shot. I'm going to send 4 to the blue guy and two to the green guy, um, over channeling. My damage is nine damage, five, three, and a one. Max die on the die is four. Four plus one is five. Five plus evoker five is 10. 10 times four missiles on this one is gonna be 40 points of damage. 10 times two missiles on the southern one is gonna be 20 points of damage. It's gonna drop. Move to the right for the road, so let's do that. Appreciated. Yep. After the Azure Wolf, we got the other half of the Azure Wolf. Let's step up and he's gonna do the third level magic missile blue guy please that is a three three on the die plus one is four plus five evoker is nine times five is 45 this one's going to take 45 points of damage and drop what else move him north one please after the azure wolf is the vampires vampires are going to regenerate they haven't taken any damage nor have they taken any radiant so nothing happened there they're going to try to bash this cleric to break the concentration. Cleric, give me some damage. 37 on the first vampire. He gets a 19 for his wisdom save, so he's going to succeed, and he's going to throw down against you. 11 to hit you. That misses. 13 to hit you. That also misses. Second guy is going to do the same thing. Give me some damage. 34. He's going to fail with a 9. He's going to throw two attacks against you. I'm going to get a 9 and a 10. Those both miss. After the vampires, we go to the owl. Move him in and blue guy, give advantage please to the rogue. After the owl, we go to the fear. Move me east of the guy in the blue cape, and we're going to make our first attack on him. 18 to hit. 18 hits. For 11 damage. Second attack. 17 to hit. 17 hits. That one's for 19 damage. Attack number 3. Uh, 16 to hit. 16 hits. 15 damage. Attack number four. That's a one. That's not going to do it then. After the fear is the blind oracle. Move north one and attack the blue guy that I have advantage against. He's got cover, but I don't think you care. Not particularly. Is it 28 hit? Hits. Respectable. For 40 points of damage. Drops. We're going to pop back one and hide. After the blind oracle, we go to the cron. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and swing at the remaining vampire. 20 total. Hits. Warhammer's going to do 6 damage. So the 6 is going to go to 3. And that's going to be 12 radiant damage. He's going to take 15 points of damage. After the Kron is the Age Wolf. Fourth level magic missile. Over channel it again. And ow. There's you some damage. 43 damage. 43 damage to you? Whoa. Look at this guy taking damage. 
six magic missiles. Maximum on the die is four. Four plus one is five. Five plus five evoker is ten. Ten times six is sixty. He's going to take sixty points of damage and drop. And that's the end of the encounter. Let's report hit points. 150 out of 150 HP. 155 out of 155 HP. 66. 206 out of 206. Any end of encounter actions? I'd like to channel my divinity to heal the wizard. Can't. Wizard's over half HP. Channel divinity can only bring somebody back up to at most half their hit points. In that case, I should probably cast a spell instead. I also have Potion of Greater Healing. I assume that it's better to use the spell slots that regenerate rather than the consumables. No, uh, burn the consumables. And then I'll just hand over a Potion of Greater Healing. 44 plus 4. And that is 14. With the fawning sycophant vampire spawns turned to dust, the adventurers are going to head up the stairs into the room of the vampire lord running this place and probably whoop some vampire lord, but we'll see what happens when they get there. Five encounters down, one more to go before the long rest. Thank you for stopping by, and I hope you'll join us next week as the adventure continues. I'm Sarsen Zero, and I will see you next time.